An Indiana headstone company is facing new accusations tonight, this time for not paying thousands of dollars in property taxes. And that's not all. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny told you last week about mounting complaints against Austin Memorial Arts in Greene County. Well, she's back now with why the locks have been changed on the business. Richard King is the owner of Austin Memorial Arts, a Bloomfield headstone business that's currently facing more than 70 small claims lawsuits from customers. We just found this new court filing that says King has not made payments on the property in months and is also delinquent on his property taxes. When we stopped by in March, Austin Memorial Arts was closed during business hours. Customers say it's been closed since January. The owner, Richard King, no one could tell me where he is. The building sits on a parcel of land. Here's a bird's eye view. Richard and Mary Fennessy own the property. They filed a lawsuit saying they had a 2014 contract with Richard King for King to buy the property over time, paying $514 a month. But the lawsuit alleges King has not made any payments since last November. The lawsuit alleges King is also responsible for paying property taxes on the property. We spoke with the Greene County Treasurer's Office, who tells us the parcel is now delinquent by more than $3,700. Richard Fennessy told me he changed the locks on the doors at Austin Memorial Arts. The headstone business and its owner are facing more than 70 small claims lawsuits from customers who claim $228,000 in losses. I just can't believe that there are so many people affected and that we probably won't get our money back. What would you like to see happen? I'd like to see everybody get their money I and mean, him go to prison. I just want my stone. The Fennessy's lawsuit is also asking the court to terminate their purchase agreement with King and allow them to retake possession of the property. Richard Fennessy told me he will do anything he can to help customers get their money or headstones back, but he's still waiting on direction from the court. Kara Kenny, WRTV. Well, Indiana State Police is investigating as well as is asking potential victims. Please call 812-332-44. One, one. WRTV has been unable to reach Richard King. He has not shown up to court and no attorney is listed for him. The phone number to Austin Memorial Arts has also been disconnected.